It is where we're at, and we're going to do our best with what we have. Make this smaller here. There we go. Okay, so what we're going to do today, well, number one, I wanted to make an announcement and say that um, that test retake I talked about on Friday slash makeup test is available until the end of the week. So we took a test um, last week at the beginning of the week. If you're group A, group B was the end of the week before. Um, it was a test over civilizations, governments, religion, um, geography. And um, we as a class, as freshman class, did well on that test. But I said that there were about 10 people that weren't able to take the test in person. So um, I'm allowing you to, uh, those who did not take it in person, to make up the test until the end of this week, and it is online, or you can retake the test if you didn't like your grade. But if you retake the test because you didn't like your grade, whatever grade you get that second time, it locks in as your grade. Okay, you can find that under Civilization Creation Project. And if you scroll to the bottom of that project, you won't be able to see all this red. The very bottom under the Google Keep stuff is Test Geography, Religion, Government Terms. Okay, that's the test. If you click on that, you can hit take, take the test, answer the questions, um, and then I'll have that submission. I'll be able to grade it for you. If you were happy with your grade, you do not have to retake it. But if you did not take that test, it's a blank grade in your grade sheet, in your grade uh, book, then it will go in as a zero as of this Friday. I just want to give you plenty of time to be able to access it and get through the confusion of starting distance learning. So you have until the end of this week, okay? Any questions on the test retake slash makeup? Any questions? Okay. Um, so for today, um, we are not going to do a no red ink this week. Uh, being the first week back to distance learning, I'm going to put that off until the following week, and we're just going to make sure, give you all kind of a, an, an easy, not an easy week. It's not an easy week by any means, but it's a week where we're just going to focus on kind of one thing at a time to get you get the ball rolling with distance learning, and we'll kind of pick up speed as we go. Um, so today we're working to end our current project. Okay, we kind of took a stop in the middle of the project, and we did that benchmark or the uh, guided writing. Um, for the district um, and that kind of came at a chaotic time with kind of switching to distance learning and things like that um, but we're coming back to the project and we're going to finish the project with a presentation okay um, usually we write a big informative essay with this project but since you all just wrote that uh, practice essay and we need to wrap this project up and move on i'm going to take us straight to the planning of the presentation so i'm kind of scratching uh, that extra writing because we already did the writing kind of portion. Uh, long story short, we're going to go straight to uh, planning your presentation, okay? The good news with this planning the presentation, you've already done the work, okay? In benchmark two, three, four, five, you've got all the work done for your presentation if you have gotten it all done. If you're missing some of that work, and for the last week, I have said, get that stuff done make sure it's done make sure it's done okay if that's not done you'll have to go back and do that before you can plan your presentation and before you can do your presentation so um if you sorry my daughter is in the room with me today so if you hear another voice that's her um today we're planning the presentation tomorrow you're finishing the planning and practicing and you're going to record either Tuesday tomorrow, tomorrow or Wednesday. Okay, um, those are the kind of the times that you are going to be um, playing out. And then we will re we will start a new project on Thursday. So you have this presentation. You have today, tomorrow, and Wednesday to finish benchmark six and to do the presentation. Okay, so two things left in this project to be done. Okay, so let's go and look at what this. Uh, benchmark looks like okay so we go into civilization creation project you scroll down to benchmark six planning my presentation let's take a look at what this looks like see my daughter walking around hey will you go over there and, and either grab that show or log on 
Pardon me just for a second, guys. You go ahead and start reading this. I'm going to get her settled. Just a second. I apologize. I know we're all trying to figure out our lives right now, so I'm getting her settled and um, trying to get everything going here. So um, hopefully you've had time to start looking at this. Let's look, let's look at it together. Um, so it says for benchmark six, you will plan out your presentation to Big Bang. So this benchmark is to prepare for the presentation. The presentation will be benchmark seven or will be the next, the final thing. Okay, it'll probably be just presentation. But this is not the presentation. This is just preparing for it. Okay. So for this presentation, you will use the template provided below. The template is a good slide, uh, a Google slide that you will fill with information concerning your civilization that you uh, researched and the hero that you have brainstormed. Okay. So this is just the slides for you. Okay. Um, and I want you to start reading through each slide. Apologies. All right, so for benchmark six, you're going to create this um, PowerPoint slide, and that is in this template down below. Okay, so we're talking about this planning your presentation, and whenever you open up that template, it will look like this. It's kind of a very blank um, PowerPoint slide, Google slide. Okay, and whenever you create it, it will give me access as well, but you'll have your individual kind of working off this template of your um, civilization, okay? So what you're gonna do for this is you're going to start planning your presentation. Now your presentation, when it's done and whenever you present, uh, you're gonna present basically your civilization to Big Bang, okay? You're going to our, our community partner, Big Bang Comic Book Store. Now usually we bring in our community partner and you all will physically present to them. For this, you're going to record it, okay? And obviously, with this distance learning and things like this, this is kind of a mock uh, presentation. We're not actually presenting. I'm not going to lie to you and say I'm going to, you know, bring them in and have them watch all these. But it's a great practice for you all to work on that oral communication skill of presenting something, okay? I um, mean, that's a skill you all really need to have for your life, okay? Um, many different jobs, many different times in your life are going to be able, need to be able to present yourself, whether it be in an interview situation or um, throughout your job. Um, you're going to need, able, need to be able to communicate. We're going to practice on that, okay? Um, and that's part of OIA is that oral communication, okay? Um, so for this presentation, you will use the template, template provided below. The template is a Google slide that you will fill with information concerning your civilization that you research and the hero that you have brainstormed. So you've already done all of this work through benchmarks two through five, okay? Each slide is connected to one of those benchmarks that we completed during this project. Replace any information in the brackets with your information. So you'll notice that throughout these slides, I have this, like your name here, there's a bracket, you know, you'll delete the bracket and then you'll put in your name, okay? And you do the same thing on like civilization name, religion. So if you did the Greeks, you do Greek religion or um, you you do um, uh, like Mesoamerican religions or uh, Japanese or Viking. Viking's the word, I couldn't think of Viking religion. Um, and then you do the same thing for geography. So name the civilization. So Greek geography, Roman geography, so on and so forth. Um, Roman government, Greek government, whatever civilization you had, archetypal hero. Now, this is where the last slide is going to be about your hero, and you'll put your hero name there. So let's go back, and on the instructions, I gave you very specific information that I want you to include. And this is information that's directly from the benchmarks. So you really don't have to create anything new because you've already done the work, but you're synthesizing and bringing together all of this information that you've collected throughout the project. So slide number, and just work on each slide, okay? So bring up the benchmark and bring up the slide and then just move the information over, okay? I don't want you to have to re-research all of this and redo all that work researching. 
because you've already done the work. Now, if you missed one of these benchmarks, you'll need to go do the research, but that'll kind of kill two birds, one stone, because you'll get an older assignment turned in and complete this one, but hopefully you're not having to do all that work. So slide number two is religion, okay? So you have this information from benchmark two, your hero's uh, civilization research. And all you have to do to find that is to go back to your um, project page and go to benchmark two. And that information is there for you in benchmark two, okay? Because you copied that template and have that information available to you, okay? So let's go back to benchmark six. So it's very easy to find this information for you. And it kind of works out that slide two goes with benchmark two, slide three goes with benchmark three, four goes with four, five goes with five. I didn't do that on purpose, but it worked out. Okay, so for this slide, you have bullet points in the instructions and you have bullet points that are actually on the um, slides here, okay? So for this, for religion, you will uh, have this information in the work, I'm sorry, for this slide, you will include the following information. The name of the civilization's religion, so that bullet one is the name of the civilization's religion. Bullet two will be monotheistic or polytheistic. So are they monotheistic or polytheistic? So you just can put that word, monotheistic or polytheistic. And then the third bullet, you put a basic belief of that religion or describe a god or deity uh, from that religion. Okay. And then third, the fourth thing is include an image or symbol from that religion. So let me show you, let me make a copy of this, so I'm not entire presentation. So let me show you what this would look like, okay? Now, I want you to make this presentation whatever you want it to be, okay? So if you wanna add more details, you wanna add more pictures, but there's two things with a PowerPoint slide that I want you to remember. Number one is you don't want a lot of white space. So you want to add images and things like that. I'm not grading you on that because that's not in the details. Um, you need to at least include all the information, but it's a good idea to include that. So the first thing is on the first um, title, I'm going to delete this whole thing. So I'm kind of showing you what you should do. So follow along with me. So I'm going to delete this first one. I'm going to put my name, okay? So my first and last name is John Richard, okay? Um, I have no H in my name because it's actually Jonathan, but I go by John. So I just put John Richard. Okay. And then I could include pictures here. Okay. Of the civilization, some images, maybe a picture of my hero. If I drew a picture, um, just pictures that would make sense for this civilization. The second slide is that religion. So I'm going to put, let's say we're doing, um, what we did with, um, uh, Odysseus. Okay. Uh, the Odyssey, and that would be Greek, okay? I'm going to do Greek religion, okay? So I'd replace that with Greek. And then the first bullet, and I'm going back and forth between Echo and this, and it says name of the civilization's religion, okay? So I'm going to put in there um, Greek mythology. Oh, Greek mythology, okay? The second bullet so it's very simple. Greek mythology is all I had to put. Because this is a PowerPoint. It's kind of like just like a note card where you're just basic information. So the second bullet I would do, is it monotheistic or polytheistic? And we talked about how in Greek mythology and with Odysseus, there was lots of different um, gods and things like that. So I'm going to put um, polytheistic. Okay. So my third bullet, it says... Sorry, clicking on the wrong things. And the third bullet, it says um, a basic belief of that religion or describe a god or deity from that religion. So I could do either a basic belief or I could do a god or deity. Okay. So what I so what I was thinking is with with the hero story of the Odyssey, I think something really important there, religion is respect for the gods, okay? So I'm going to put um, an important belief for the Greek, or an important belief in Greek 
apology was respect. I'm going to capitalize respect for the gods. Okay, I'm even going to like kind of put this and then I'm going to make it kind of like that. Okay. Or I could have gone a different direction. I could have looked at one of their deities or gods and said, explain like Zeus is the father of all the gods or Poseidon is the uh, god of the ocean and earthquakes and things like that. So, but I chose to go with this direction. Okay. The last part of this, it asked for include an image or symbol of that religion. Okay. So I'm going to include, um, let's say Mount Olympus. Okay. So I'm going to go out or actually I can do this right inside of this. I can actually go to insert and then I can look for now in your um, benchmark two, you probably already have an image that you can um, just put right in there, but I'm going to search Mount, Mount Olympus. Mount Olympus. I'm looking for, so it's giving me the actual Mount Olympus, Mount Olympus Greek mythology. So let's include like this image here. This is kind of an interesting one with all the different gods and everything like that. And then I'd resize it down and we put that down in the corner. Okay. Now you'll notice what I was going to say earlier is there's a couple of things with PowerPoint you always want to remember. Number one is not too much information. Okay. Because you're going to be using this to be able to talk um, and, and you're going to add to the presentation. Okay. So whenever I go to present to Big Bang, I'd say the Greek religion, um, they believe in Greek mythology in which there are many different gods. And this is known as polytheistic. Polytheistic means that they have many different gods and they have many gods ranging from Zeus to Poseidon. You go into details. You wouldn't put all of that information into your PowerPoint. Okay. Then I would go into fi finally, I'd say, now, an important belief in Greek mythology was respect for the gods. It was very important to have respect for these gods um, that were involved in their lives and things like that. Okay. So you're kind of going into those details. That's the number one is not too much information. Okay. Now, when you do your presentation, there are four slides here. There's the introduction and then there's four other slides. For each of those slides, you're going to spend 30 seconds. Okay. Um, so you don't need a ton of information. Okay, you're going to spend only 30 seconds talking about Greek religion. Okay, now the last thing is we don't want big blank white spaces. Okay, so what we can do here is I'm going to shrink this down. This is where you it's up to you to kind of uh, take care of this. But I'm going to shrink this down. I'm going to make this bigger. So this is kind of your work to like make it bigger and fill up some of that blank space. Okay. So I don't want it ridiculously big. That's a little bit too big. Let's see what that looks like. I don't really like that it's kind of off there. So I'm going to, it's all about just making it look nice. Okay. So now I'm going to screw this down and then I'm going to bring this up and I can make this image a little bit bigger. Okay. So you can see I'm taking away a lot of that blank space. Okay. And I'm keeping it simple because it's all about your talking points. Okay. That's what I'm more concerned about. This is more of notes for you to work off of. And this is what it's going to be like. Um, you're going to have go to videotape your presentation and you're going to be able to look at your note cards, which is your PowerPoint as you present. Um, so that's Greek religion. And you're going to do that for each of your uh, of these slides. So if I go back, let's look at the other one. So that's religion. And I'm not going to show you an example of every single one because uh, it'll take too long and you guys, I think, you get the picture. If you have questions or you need examples, let me know. But for slide three, so the third slide, that's geography. So you have this information from Benchmark 3. That's the map you created. You took a picture of it, uploaded it, and then you uh, answer the questions provided. So for this slide, you will include the following information. A picture of the map that you created for the benchmark. So you have a picture of that map. Um, it is in the actual benchmark three, or you can take another picture of it if you want, if you want a better picture. Um, now, if you do not have a, the map that you created, you can find a map on the internet and use a map from the internet. I want the map that you created 
in there. This is kind of an option B, okay? Um, and then on the for text on that, I want you to answer on the bullet provided in the slide the following question. How do you think geography has affected the history of your civilization? Give specific examples of geography that impacted uh, your country. So I would put like one sentence into that, but you're going to go into greater detail. You could even just put like the like physical features, okay, that impacted it in the, on that bullet, and then you're going to explain that in your presentation, okay? So that's slide number three, geography, okay? And that's the exact question that you answered for benchmark three, okay? So this isn't even a new question. You're just pulling that information and putting it together for this presentation. Slide four is government. You have this information from benchmark four. For this slide, there's gonna be three bullets, or two bullets and then an image. Uh, the first bullet is the type of government your civilization had. Did it have a democracy, an oligarchy, um, an autocracy? What did it have? Um, and then the second bullet is, uh, was it difficult for your hero to live under or within this government? So this is a little bit of a change. So in Benchmark 4, I asked, would you personally like to live under this type of government? Okay. Now I'm switching it in the presentation to where I want you to think of the hero that you came up with. And I want you to answer the question of, do you think it would be difficult for your hero to live under or within this government? Okay. So you can give a brief, like in the bullet there, you can say it would be difficult or it would be easy for um, whatever your heroes or my hero to live in this civilization. Okay. Um, and then in the presentation, you'll actually explain it. Okay. But you want to do a little bit of information in there. And then slide number five is archetypal hero. This is benchmark five. Okay, for this slide, you'll include the following information. So basic physical traits. So are they male, female? Uh, are they um, tall, short, physically fit, larger, smaller? Whatever details that you think are important to say, very simple on that bullet, and then you can go in those details. The second bullet will be the hero's life purpose, which was from benchmark five. What was the life purpose? It was in the second or third section, and it was like life purpose. So were they trying to save a city? Were they trying to uh, help grow crops? Were they trying to overthrow a powerful person? Were they trying to save their family or someone? What were they doing? Uh, the third one is, who is the hero's antagonist? Who did you come up with? Who are they fighting against? And then you're going to explain that in what's the hero's conflict, which you've already written in Benchmark 5. OK, so you're going to put all this together um, and you have the rest of this whole class period to work on this. Um, and then you have some time tomorrow to practice and work on this. And then Wednesday, tomorrow, and Wednesday, you're going to be recording your presentation. OK, um, are there any questions? I want to open it up to questions over these um, before I let you all go. Any questions? What do you do when you're done? So if you are done, if you pulled all this information together today, I want you to um, begin practicing, uh, kind of going through each slide and kind of timing yourself to see, can I present all this information in under two minutes, but do I have enough information to be over 90 seconds, so a minute and a half. So you don't want to be only like a minute. You want to almost be two minutes, okay? The shortest this presentation should be would be 90 seconds. So that's what I want you to do whenever you're finished with the PowerPoint, okay? Any other questions? What do we do if we're working together with someone, like on the benchmarks? So if you're working together on the benchmarks, you all can create the PowerPoint together, and there's very few of you all doing this. So um, I think, yeah, there's only like one or two of you all doing this, so there's not a lot. Um, but if you are doing that, then you can create the PowerPoint together, but you will present separately. Okay. Does that make sense? Yeah. All right. Yeah. Thank you. Thank you. Anybody else have any questions or good questions? Okay. I will stay in the, um, in the Google meet. You all are just.